Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I have to begin by asking you a question. Are smartwatches a fad? Do you have a smartwatch? Have you ever been interested in a smartwatch? The smartwatch that you had may still be had. Did you upgrade to another smartwatch, or did you ultimately kind of forget about wearing it all the time, kind of like I usually forget about wearing it? You're not going to believe me, but... Uh, I did not wear my Apple Watch specifically because I knew I was going to be doing this video. I threw out the idea of doing this topic to the people in Discord. This chat room we have open 24-7. You're more than welcome to join. Uh, you can either be a sub of mine on Twitch, head over to twitch.tv slash chrisperillo and become a sub and, and potentially even do that for free if you connect your Amazon Prime account to it and then... Once your Discord account is connected to your Twitch account, then you can become a part of the chat room or be a patron. Patreon.com slash Chris Perillo. That's where it's at, right over there. No, I don't know what's over there right now. Probably thumbnails or something. Uh, and then you can get access to the Discord chat as well. Uh, it's going on 24-7, even when I'm not doing a single topic video or uh, one of the TLDR live videos or recording the podcast. TLDR live has not yet happened today. That's over at uh, youtube.com slash the other YouTube channel. Turn on notifications. So I kind of threw the question out there that I was considering uh, doing this topic, if only because it's something that's been on my mind and for a few different reasons. And I think you may remember, I've kind of been tepid in relation to uh, the smartwatch concept. The idea of having a smartwatch was not all that compelling to me. And... To a certain degree, it's still not all that compelling. Most days anymore, I get by without wearing the watch. I could be downstairs doing something, getting ready to go, realizing that I didn't have the watch on, and honestly, I don't even think that far. Usually, I'm just gone, and I'm not wearing the watch, and I don't care. But even if I was downstairs and I thought, oh, I'm not wearing my watch, I don't even know if I would expend the energy to go upstairs, which I realize is kind of weird, right? Because... Uh, you know, people wear these smart watches because they have fitness tracking built in. You know, I'd have to, you know, exert some effort to go and get it to put it on. And then I would have, you know, lost those calories because, you know, if you don't count a calorie in your smart watch and the app doesn't track it, did you really burn it? That's the new kind of question of existentialism, right? You know, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's around to hear it, did it make a sound? Right? If, if you burned a calorie, but a smart watch didn't track it. Did it, did it really burn? Do, do you really know? I mean, I think even now they're still largely uh, estimators. But I st still see smartwatches as an option, but not a necessity. I didn't imagine they would ever sell half as well as smartphones did. Some people would be just as inclined to replace their smartphone experience with a watch. The challenge with doing that is, well, watches generally, especially with heavy use, uh, aren't going to last very long because they're doing a lot. And, and, and the more they can do, the more juice they're going to drain. Wait, the more juice will be drained from the watches. I've, I've just got this interesting visual of like a, a smartwatch standing at a urinal, you know. All right, so I know that uh, I, I've been rather um, uninterested in what this has to offer. I still wear it every so often. Uh, today, I actually had a chance to use it beyond its usual use case for me, and that is telling the time. It's a very expensive way of telling the time, and just doing this, and, and oh, there's the time, right? Sometimes notifications fire, sometimes they don't. Sometimes messages come in, sometimes they don't. And here's another case of sometimes it works, and sometimes it don't. I was holding Jedi, we were on our way out uh, of, of BrickCon, and we were looking for a, a local uh, vegetarian restaurant. And uh, I, I kind of knew where it was, but wasn't sure. So I had my phone in the pocket. This is like a perfect use case, right? Yeah, phone's in the pocket. I've got this thing on me. I can talk to my watch. So I yelled at it. I said, May, Mary. But it kind of rhymed with that. I didn't want to trigger anybody else's device. I said, May, Mary, Mel me, Mata. Oh, I don't have to go the whole way. But I basically asked it to take me to this place. And uh, it started to. I was like, oh, okay, it's calculating. It's going. Okay, that's all right. Bravo technology. 
you worked. I'm very proud of you. I'm so proud of you. So I kind of put my wrist down. All right, we're hanging out. We're just looking across the street, you know, this crosswalk. And all right, now I know I said to get here, and then I turned the turn the watch over to, to, to check the next direction because I needed to know if I'm turning right or left. And, and, I, and I was staring at the time again. Like, it started to tell me directions. It told me kind of where to be. And then that's it. It, 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 it just, just the, the directions disappeared. Like, I didn't tell it to stop. No one around me, you know, told it to stop. Um, it was just done. Like, well, I really don't want to have to plug in all the things again and talk to it again and go through the whole rigmarole. I know, first world, first world problems, first world problems. But hey, you know what? I live in the first world. I'm kind of wearing a first world kind of device. So, um, yeah, I was really disappointed in it. <laughs> uh, the Apple Watch has kind of been a series of disappointments. Then again, the first Android Wear experience was nothing but disappointment. Uh, the, the hardware was clunky and chunky, and so was the software, which, to a certain degree, I guess, you know, they kind of worked in conjunction. They were in parity with one another. Uh, it was a horrific, horrific experience that I would not wish on anybody. Uh, and I know Android has certainly evolved. In fact, I've crowdsourced the idea uh, of, of possibly looking into getting an Android Wear device, a newer one, it, you know, if, if I can find one that I think is suitable. One person uh, shared the, the this uh, smartwatch they had that was running Android Wear, and they said, oh, I really like this one. It, 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 it's, it's nice. And I looked at it, and indeed, the screen looked suitable. Uh, it, it looked like it would work, except the brand was slapped across the top of the watch. Like... We finally got the smartphone manufacturers to get over placing their brand on the face of a smartphone. <sighs> They're not paying me to wear it. Do I look like a NASCAR driver to you? Maybe some days. I'm not, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, a NASCAR driver. Not that I'm slagging them. I'm just saying. I just... So, uh... I can't, I, I can't see any, any viable alternative that would be uh, more than just a lateral move in terms of experience. I can get by easily without wearing this, but I also know I am not the target audience, not just for this watch, for just about any watch. Like, I'm not into fitness. That, that's, that's not a goal of mine. It's not what I believe I'm going to need. I know when I walk and exert myself, I'm getting exercise. I know it's important. I get it. But I don't train for anything. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, you know, find that beyond my dietary habits, I, I need to exert myself so hard all the time. Eh, I'm not an athlete. I'm not even a mathlete. I just, I don't, I, I, I don't necessarily want to do that. That's me. Everybody's different. So I, I, I know that I'm not the target audience for most of the features inside this watch. Some of the features are nice to have. Being able to unlock a computer just by just sitting down in front of it. That's very convenient. What's not very convenient is that in order to use this watch, I got to use that phone. So what's the solution? The solution is another alternative, like a, a, a viable alternative developed by somebody else. And with that, introducing another series of problems and, and, and removing functionality and features that I want or that I certainly appreciate. But even then, it, 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 it's, it's just it's a minor inconvenience uh, to wear the watch as well as not wear the watch. It's a wash. I, I uh, you know... Asked the question in the Discord chat, and, and honestly, the responses I thought were you know, very, very fascinating. Um, not my experience. These are everybody else's experience, but uh, Lon Lon Milk Lover came out, and he says uh, he likes his smartwatch. It takes uh, the discreet notification a step further. Everybody puts their phones on vibrate when wanting to be discreet, but keeping your phone out on display or constantly removing it from your pocket isn't so sly. A simple silent buzz on your wrist and at a glance, your watch will always simply appear as if you're checking for the time in just a brief second. And he mentions, you know, as well as, you know, you're on the beach, you're vacationing, you know, you don't want to get, you know, things wet. I, I understand there, there's certainly a value. 
I'm going to give uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, I guess, uh, you know, the opposite perspective to that uh, as a value. I have found myself apologizing for doing this with somebody else, whether it was a friend or a business associate, anybody. I've apologized. And that tells me everything. And not because I noticed a social cue, certainly not because I have Asperger's, but just doing this not out of habit because I feel a buzz. And I don't have all the notifications turned on anyway. Like I have a very few uh, uh, apps that, that have notifications, ones that I, I believe are, are critical. And so when I feel a buzz, usually it's important. So I, you know, I immediately check, right? And what is it? Okay, it's not important that I put it down. Then I have to explain to the person that I'm with or people that I'm with, I, the, the watch buzzed and then it becomes a whole thing. It, it just becomes socially awkward for wearing this very socially awkward thing on my wrist. So I get it. I understand one side, but I've also lived the other side. And I guess maybe I'm kind of tired of having to make excuses for my choices in technology. Namely this. I, I almost think it's more acceptable to put your phone down on the on the desk or the table. I, I, it may be rude with some people. But I think it's far more customary to do that and glance down at your at your phone than it is to, to pick up your wrist and do this because you are indirectly telling the other person that they are not worth your time and that you're busy and you've got to keep a schedule or whatever it happens to be. I, I, I guess I've gone through it too many times where I feel like they're going to perceive me as different because I've done this. So then why would I do that? Because I get a notification. Well, I get that because it's convenient. Here's the funny thing, at least with my experience, it's a sex panther on your wrist. 60% of the time it works all the time. Even with notifications. Like, I didn't get the notification. I sent you this. I'm like, well, I certainly didn't see it. And you're either on my phone or this way or that way. And certainly not on my watch. It just disappeared into the ether. So that was Lon Lon Milk Lover. Um, Rob Madden once said, if you're thinking of fads, and he believed that you know other things are fads, like, like monitors and screens and types of curved screens and all that. But I think this is at a completely different level. I mean, TVs have been around for a while. Watches have certainly been around for a while. But the idea of a smartwatch, this end-all, be-all computer on your wrist, I think is just still in its, 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 its infancy stages. I wore watches when I was younger, not all the time. I had, I can remember two. One of them was a, a wind-up uh, wristwatch that was analog, and I really don't like analog timepieces. Oh, why? Because it takes me four minutes to figure out what the hell time it is, and I could probably get it wrong, because, uh, I mean, it just takes me a while to, to, to figure out what time it is, and then why, when I finally figure out what time it is, four minutes have passed. So I don't like that. I like digital watches. I mean, like, look, hey, we've evolved for a reason, right? You know, we, we can look at numbers and we can interpret those numbers directly. There's no ambiguity in those numbers. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I look and I see the numbers and I know what time it is. Uh, I think I had a, a digital watch as well for a while, but it broke. It was like a, a cheapy watch. Um, so it's, it's not that I'm, you know, a stranger to wearing watches. Certainly not a stranger of wearing technology, like my glasses, which I've been wearing ever since I can remember. I'm more comfortable with these because I'm more accustomed to these. I'm still not very comfortable with this. I can't wait to take this off. It's, in fact, oh, I feel so much better. Oh, I feel so much better. I don't like wearing, I mean, I wear clothes. I don't mind wearing clothes. I, I don't like wearing accessories. This is a necessity. This is actually comfortable on me. I'm used to wearing this. I'm not used to wearing this, and I don't need to wear this. I do need to wear this. I don't like sticking things in my eyes, and I'm not going to go as far as, you know, them shooting lasers into my eyes. I'll just, I'll wait. I'll wait for them to perfect it even further. I will wait. I'll be getting new glasses soon. Expect that. Don't, you know, freak out when that happens. It's, it's, they're not going to even look different. In fact, I'd be shocked if most people even recognized uh, the difference. Um, but uh, Michael Tristan, who just uh, became uh, a sub uh, to join the Discord chat, has also been a super chatter in our live video feeds, says, I heard the new Series 3 is only one hour of talk time and can't receive normal SMS messages without, without the iPhone powered on. Uh, what's really bad is no third-party apps work with it when the phone is off as well. So, you know, again, when, when, when you're... When you're using this accessory that's tied to yet another accessory, a phone, I just question its value. It's, 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 it's stunted. It's, it's working-ish, but only in conjunction with something else. Uh, it seems like an extraneous cost that is just an extraneous hassle. Um, and I, I'm not so sure I'm going to find a solution to that as a scenario 
with what else is out there beyond the one that 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 I've been wearing. Um, the, the, the comments, you know, continued to come in, too. In fact, uh, who was it? Vicki Gillen said uh, she just ordered uh, her Apple Watch Series 3 LTE. Uh, it's going to be there tomorrow. Can't wait. Loves her Series 2. Use it for a lot of things. Can't imagine being without it. And I, I guess I'm kind of the opposite of Vicki. I, I, I can imagine being without it. And there's no right answer. It's not about right or wrong. Um, but, you know, again, continuing, uh, Sammy Senpai, uh, another sub here in Discord, says, my opinion on smartwatches is that they are great for the first few weeks or months, the honeymoon period, and after that, I can see them being sold or collecting dust. That's exactly how Diana's watch is. It, it just sits around doing nothing. She doesn't wear it all that often. I have to remind her. I'm like, what's the point? I'm not going to remind someone to wear something. If they don't want to wear it, they won't wear it. If they need to wear it, they will wear it. This is not my fault. This is not my problem. I do believe that smartwatches are smack dab in the middle of a fad, and I think their luster is starting to fade away. So I got to ask you another question. Why do you think Google didn't announce a Pixel Watch? Why do you think that they eliminated every non-Google product from their store? Now I can answer th that question because they're being straight up made by Google. I get it. That makes sense to me. But then why not create an Android Wear experience owned by the, the Pixel team? That's missing, right? You know, if wearables are still a thing, why didn't Google announce something? Do you think they have plenty of partners? Yeah, they probably do. And, and most of those partners probably aren't selling very many of those watches. I, I, I just don't see a lot of excitement for watches. But mind you, I'm not a watch wearer to begin with. So I guess, you know, that's, that's where I come from. Uh, I'm not interested in any watch announcements at all unless it's like you know a game changer but i i just haven't really seen too many game changers i've seen you know evolutionary ideas uh you know that, that have come around come along in an iterative fashion but nothing that's uh, effectively uh, compelling beyond certain smaller values i still believe smart watches are a solution in search of a series of problems and they're coming together that it's still it's still getting to the point where it's going to be valuable and valid as a part of your lifestyle and some people have already figured out how it all kind of works together for them that's great i may very well be getting off the smartwatch bandwagon if i wear something and i decide to do it it's probably going to be just as simple as okay there's the time there's the weather maybe a heartbeat and you know i'm good to go uh but in terms of adding expense eh. in, in terms of in terms of adding in this another necessity eh. uh i'm a curmudgeon that way okay I just would rather live with less tech in my life than more. Uh, you know, I tried it. I gave it a shake. It just it just didn't work out for me. What's Google working on? What, what are they doing? If they're doing anything at all, are they going to abandon Android Wear? God, they just it received another update. It looked like a great update at a distance. Maybe they're working on another kind of wearable. That's what I'm inclined to believe. I, I am not spreading rumors. That's pure speculation. Uh, they're working potentially on another wearable that's not a watch. Because if they were working on a watch, wouldn't you have imagined they would have pre-announced something even though it wasn't ready to ship? I would imagine this would have been the time to announce it if only to, you know, get people potentially interested in it. Possibly. Maybe they didn't want to hurt their uh, partners in that. I don't know. But I believe that would have been the time. Maybe they're working on something else. I've long wanted uh, integrated uh, uh, heads-up display in uh, my prescription glasses. I don't want to wear some clunky thing over the glass. It's got a little tiny glass screen that it really freaks people out. No, I just want it integrated here, right? That's it. That's, I'm, then I'm in. And, and I hope it comes. I, I hope within the next five years, because I'm not getting any younger. Let me check the time. Definitely not getting any younger. So I would want this to be the ultimate wearable. That's me. Not everybody would want to go that route. Maybe some people still want to wear it on their wrist. I, I'm not that person. So what do you think? Uh, which side of the fence do you uh, sit on? Uh, and I'm not even talking about, you know, this platform versus that platform. I'm talking about the idea of a smartwatch. Is it now kind of yesterday's news? Are you still interested? Are you still fascinated? Why? And I'm, I'm not... I'm not uh, castigating you if you happen to have a completely different opinion or different perspective or different experience than me. I am just genuinely curious because from where I sit, I, I just I think the buzz is kind of wearing off. The honeymoon period with smartwatches, I think, is over. I, I think there was a mad drive and now everything's kind of cooled off. 
that's just been the way that I've been thinking. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the Force be with you.